Good morning everyone, here's Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to make your portrait pop out from the image, uh, how to bring up the details from your portrait on the portrait image, not only yours. Uh, as you see an example, um, it's the same effect you can see right now on your desktop. As you see the impression is like um, the face pop out from the image a bit uh, and the details are really impressive so in this tutorial I will show you how to do this in few really easy steps it's not a long tutorial you will be surprised how how easy it is to do things like this uh, it's my final result and that how the image looked before it's not so impressive as you see we cannot see so many details on the image right now and here as you see it's really really nice even if we zoom this image uh, so at first let me remove all of the uh, images uh, of the process I'm not sure if it will be the same because actually there's few way to, to do this so just let's start uh, from the beginning at first the resolution of the image is really really huge and the laptop is not really so fast but actually I have some problem with the laptop but I will try to do my best to make this tutorial really really good and uh, clear so at first let me use hue saturation actually I will duplicate this layer and I will call this basic and at first let me use hue saturation to take down some saturation from the image I would say minus 35 would be okay in this case it would be it was just too colorful for me then I would use selective color to uh, do color gradient a bit and actually there's not so much to do the thing is I'd like to make this portrait really really cold Really cool. Mostly, I would use here just neutral color. Okay. So it's the most important part, actually. So let's use color neutrals. Bring up some cyan color take down some magenta or actually a little bit up because I don't want to make this image too cold a little bit yellows and bring up a little bit black colors but not too much because we don't want to make this image too dark actually and maybe we could take it down but I am worried that the image could be too too bright so just add some contrast maybe or actually you can take down about minus 6 it's not bad you have to check if your image is uh, too bright or actually too dark so you can break up some brightness or take down some brightness always using a selective color as I did this I think I will not use any black color here it's it's quite natural color at the moment now after this if we want to change a little bit of like the general color I would use just photo filter just simple photo filter it's up to you which kind of photo filter I would like to I think I would like to use quite warm photo filter as I fancy this color but it could be any I don't want to use too cold, it's not so great. Green color doesn't work as well, so I would decide to use just a warm color. After this, it's a proper time to uh, create a stamp. So press Shift, Control, Alt, and E, or Shift, Command, Alt, and E if you work in MacBook. 
if we were to Mac, I'm going to call this sharpen. Of course, as the name says, it's going. We're gonna have to sharpen face now. And always, if you would like to add some effect into the image, convert to smart object. Click right and convert to smart object. It gives you opportunity to edit um, this part uh, later on. And then just click filter and sharpen. Actually, I will not change here anything because I have my settings. As you see, I can see this here. I think it's uh, enough for now. Of course, you can do on your own whatever you want. I stay with this. And oh, it's going to take a while now. I have to wait a little bit. As I said, it's very, very slow. Fortunately, I had some problem with my other laptop. And now just create layer mask and invert color. Press Ctrl and E to invert the color to black color. And with this, just use a brush color white to bring up the details on the parts you want. I think it's quite important to bring up the details on the eyes, eyebrows, nose, this part of the face, the, the central part of the face actually, on the lips as well, and as I said, the central part of the face is the most important actually, bring up the details very clearly here, and as well as here, do this on her. And that would be everything where we have to bring up the details. Don't do this on the the front head, it's not really necessary. Just the, the, the central part of the face is the most important in this in this case, in this tutorial. After this, let's add some nice um, nice color effect. I think gradient map would be really great. So let's check what gradient map has to offer at first change black mode into soft light opacity maybe around 40% and um, I have photograph I'm going to use photographic tuning gradient which already is in uh, Photoshop just click the small icon then photographic tuning uh, a pin I already have I'm going to use this one I hope it's really not too cold the colors are not too cold I think it fits really really nice um, uh, here but if it's too cold for you of course you can use some warm color I don't think it's really necessary. I like cold colors. I want this portrait to make really cold. Um, so we are nearly really done. The the next thing is we have to use Dutch and Bear to, to make this eyes really impressive, to make the face really impressive, to bring up more details, to bring up even more details. Create new layer and I'm going to call this Dutch Burn. Then edit, fill and fill this layer with 50% gray and change blend mode into overlay to make this layer invisible. Then click dodge tool as always. Let's zoom this image and do our work. I make that brush a little bit smaller and very important. I want to add some really, really strong lights on the eyes. Let's make eyes really intense, it doesn't have to be natural. Some eyebrows. It's really nice. And a little bit of this on the hair. Make them. We can change that from mid tones into highlights on the hair actually. Oh yes, that, that's the effect I really want. Change the mid-tone into mid-tones again. That a little bit on the lips maybe. Make it bigger. And optional, if you want actually, you can use burn tool. But of course be careful about this, just a little bit here. Um, darker part of the face. really be careful about this just optional if you'd like to add some contrast um, like me and it's nearly really really done 
uh, actually I think you can add some uh, some color effects more if you'd like to change the color now but I think we did this actually quite right it looks quite okay the face is maybe too the gradient map we can edit this if you don't like this color maybe a little bit warmer mm. actually I like this color this cold look so I will stay with this cold look of course if you don't like if you prefer some warm color you can use sepia colors or something like this I'm not sure which cold color I should actually use all of them looks really really nice I will stay with this one probably I think it's very really nice and at the end once they're really the effect that makes that face pop out uh, from the image is just uh, the secret of blur gallery uh, create a stamp again shift control control alt and e and shift command alt and e if you work in a mac i'm going to call this blur convert it to smart object again and now click filter blur gallery blur gallery Iris Blur. Scratch this a bit. Put this with center of the face, just here. You have to do this very carefully. Take a look, the center of the face is very really strong and I think it looks um looks it looks really right. Got blur into 980 pixels and I think it maybe it works a little bit better than iris blue uh, than uh, tilt shift actually. Press OK. And finally, I hope it looks really, really nice. Um, that's the result I wanted to get. Um, the face impression is really, really nice. As you see, it gives us the impression like the face pop out a little bit from the image. We bring up all the details. I really like this effect, and I hope you guys like this effect as well. Because as you could see, it's really quick and it's really quick tutorial but very useful if you would like to add uh, some drama into your face some some really nice um, effect into your face so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial thank you